okay dear students now we'll find out the electric field between the plates of the capacitor so we have a parallel plate capacitor we know what uh, what is a capacitor and uh, what capacitance is so once uh, one type of capacitor we are going to consider that is a parallel plate capacitor so here two plates i have drawn one is a positive plate and another is negative plate and uh, let us see the three points are here one point is a one is b one is c so one point is uh, point a is one side of the two plates c is also outside the two plates and uh, this point b is lying inside the two between the two plates so at these three points we are going to find out the electric field okay now let us consider this uh, um, both of the plates they have same area and equal and opposite charges are given to both of the plates so let us consider this plate is having surface charge density sigma and this is having surface charge density minus sigma now at point a so let us try to find out the electric field at point a at point a we know that the electric these points no doubt i have shown that they are very far away from the plates but here we are going to consider the points to be very much closer and these two plates are also like very much closer to each other so that uh, these plates can be treated uh, uh, as infinitely large sheets and for that we have already calculated the electric field using gauss's theorem electric field due to infinitely large surface charge distribution is sigma by 2 epsilon not so at this particular point a will find out the electric field because of both of these two plates and then we will find out the vector sum of both of the plates so due to positive charge electric field is away from positive charge so due to this positive charge electric field is sigma by 2 epsilon not and due to this negative charge electric field would be towards the negative charge and this would be sigma by 2 epsilon not so both of the magnitudes would be same and we know that because of the uh, infinitely large surface charge distribution the where, uh, point of observation distance of point of observation is uh, Uh, not affecting the value of the electric field electric field is independent of the distance of point of observation so you can see here point a is lying closer to plate this positive plate but it is lying very far away from this negative plate but both of the electric fields they have the equal magnitudes and their directions are opposite so at point a net electric field would be e plus plus e minus so both of the electric fields are sigma by 2 epsilon not sigma by 2 epsilon not so they are opposite so you will subtract them to find out the net electric field at point a so at this point there is no electric field existing because of these two plates now similarly at point c at point c because of the negative charge electric field is towards the negative so this is negative because of this electric field due to negative is always towards the negative due to positive is away from the positive so e negative here is sigma by 2 epsilon not and here positive due to positive it is away from the positive charge so e plus is sigma by 2 epsilon not so here also at point c both of the fields are equal e net would be e plus plus e minus so you can see both of the fields are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so similarly here also we can prove that the electric field is zero so we can conclude one thing here the when the two parallel plates of capacitor are placed in this way then the field outside the plates would be zero now let's come to this point b which is lying between the two plates at point b so let us draw both of the fields due to this positive plate electric field is away from the positive plate so electric field is away from this positive and its magnitude is sigma by 2 epsilon not and due to this negative plate electric field is 
towards the negative charge so e minus is sigma by 2 epsilon naught so you can see here both of the fields they are in equal uh, they are equal in magnitude and same in the direction due to positive it is away from positive due to negative it is towards the negative so both of the field uh, fields are in the same direction so at point b how we can find out e net it would be e plus e minus and we know that when two vector quantities are in the same direction we simply add them sigma by 2 epsilon naught so net electric field between the two plates of parallel plate capacitor is sigma by epsilon naught and its directions you can see both of the both of these fields are in the direction from positive to negative plate so e net that the sigma by epsilon naught will also be from positive to negative. So here also I can draw this direction is from positive to negative. So as we know that the electric field is always directed from positive to negative. So uniform electric field which is sigma by epsilon naught is existing between the two plates of the capacitor. We will use this electric field to find out the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor. So next topic we will see the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. Thank you.